basically just monkeys in space. Hairless space monkeys. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brenda Dayton. I'm your humble narrator and welcome to a spaceship roguelike known as the Sentient. My my, it is difficult. Uh, you set up your ship with its layout and uh, try to power up your weapons and shields and not die. It is much more difficult than faster than light. So you start with a big empty ship, fill it all up. The story is absolutely immaculate. I will not spoil that here, but it is a 10 out of 10, suffice to say. The rest of the things uh, don't feel completely done. Uh, it has some balance issues as far as I'm concerned. Things are way, way too difficult. Uh, but I'll set up the ship and we will see how we do. So in addition to sizing your rooms and filling them up with uh, required items as well as accessory items, you also get to recruit a crew uh, who have perks and some issues as well. Some are slobs, some are lazy, but uh, some learn faster. It's quite interesting. I don't generally look at them because I find my crew dies more often than not, but perhaps if I was able to synergize it in some way, it might be beneficial. And once you get your crew, uh, you schedule your crew. Yes, so I'm going to schedule up my flight crew, I guess they are. <laughs> and then uh, get some engineers and schedule them as well. Alright, so it's taken me uh, nine minutes approximately to get to this point. I have my crew set up. You also get some points to spend um, on research. But if you do die, you will need to restart the game completely. If you reset within the game, you won't get your points back which is unfortunate, there's probably uh, some achievements or something tied to that. But I will uh, upgrade as a scout ship and then I'll save my points because I want to get like galactic communications or something. Battle is really not the way to go because you don't recover your hull until you get back to your home planet. Here's the world map, we'll go to this sector I suppose and uh, unpause things. Hooray light speed! Yes, I had to put many things in my engine room. Uh, we've got an FTL drive generator, which is what puts us to light speed. Hooray! Our first jump. And then we've got a weapon drive, a shield drive, as well as two shield uh, storage tanks and one weapon storage tank, which is really important uh, if you do get into combat because you'll 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 blow up relatively quick if your shields are down. It's quite a balancing act. I would love to have a bigger ship or maybe something with a, a better layout, but this is what we got for now. It's what we gonna work with. Um, I've put everybody on like kind of a rotated schedule, so, and I did double up on piloting, so there should be somebody piloting at all times, even if somebody goes off to eat or something like that. Um, ooh, alien life form. Uh, I don't know what you said. So, goodbye. Ignore. Oh, great. Begins to attack. Here we go. Battle stations. God damn it. So I'm gonna press 1 and 2 to fire my weapons in kind of a rotation. We have got no fucking shields uh, stored, really. And there, in the engine room, you see the two bars on either side. Red is for weapons, blue is for shields. And they are going down. It's not good, but we do have his shields down as well, so if I could just keep pummeling him, we should be able to... Oh my god, it's gonna come so close. Please don't hurt! Oh, he didn't break through the shields. That was so close, though. Are you kidding me? Good. Alright, this is further than I've made it at any previous attempt. It's taken me like two hours to figure out that the engineers, uh generate weapon and shield power and then during combat you can apply the weapon and shield power by clicking on the energy tank and then it's uh, a little dialogue in the lower left of the screen oh somebody leveled up hooray viola espino get a get a point for consoles so she should be uh, targeting things a little bit better or is she on shields yeah she's on shields the red one is for weapons everybody knows that even <laughs> In this futuristic system, like, uh, yeah, it's still really color-coded and basic because we're still basically just monkeys in space. Hairless space monkeys. I'm proud of you boys. Autopilot is disabled. Flight stick is in use. We are almost to our destination, which will be nice. Uh, hopefully it's not another combat situation because we still haven't generated many shields. 
I could pull that guy off. Uh, uh oh, offline vessel. Uh, blow it up. Oh fuck. Okay, I tried to communicate and uh, it opened fire. I really should have galactic communications. But uh, yeah, we're gonna have to blow it up. Blow it up. Blow it up every time. Blow it up. I really do like the different ship designs. There are different races within the game if you're able to identify them. Um, currently, we're just kind of dumb humans that are going around blowing up everything that we encounter. <laughs> oh no, and my weapon power is getting so low. Uh, this is not going to be good. He's still got shields up. So um, it's going to be edge of your seat action. I'll boost the shields as best I can, but oh my god. It's not good. We're not going to have the weapons to chew him up. Come on, come on. Engineers, do something. Do something. Somebody do something. It's like that scene in Spaceballs. Oh, yeah. We got him. I don't know how we got him. Jesus Christ. Yes, it is very, very harrowing. Our hull is at 41% now, but we do have to finish exploring this sector before we can go back to Earth. So, uh, it's not looking good, friends. All of a sudden, it's really not looking good. I'm gonna stay here for just a little while to try and, uh, replenish my weapon and shield power before we go get fucked again. Well, Bethany Isaac seems to be the engineer that's, uh, doing everything. Addy Oliphant is like, I need to eat food. Now I need to go to the bathroom. Now I need to eat food. Now I need to go to the bathroom. Now I need to sleep. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? What did I hire you for? I'll kick her out the airlock at the next fucking stop. <laughs> I, I really only need this one engineer, it seems. I could be proven wrong on that, too. Unfortunately, I'm trying to get this chick to work. A feast would be great. Well, go eat. I don't know. Jesus Christ. We're nowhere near our destination yet, luckily. And uh, we seem to have full shield power, almost. And almost full weapon power, if this chick would do some shit. But it doesn't seem like she's gonna... DO SOMETHING! All right, everybody's eaten, everybody's pottied. We got somebody back on the flight stick now. I'm so proud of you little people. Little people doing lots of things. Does anybody remember that? I think my cousins used to watch it. Oh, uh, we're almost there. I'm so scared at what we'll find. Hopefully not combat. I do not have the, the shields, but we're gonna autopilot our way the rest of the way, yes. Here we are, um, hey, ship, what's up? And of course, it fucking tries to kill me because I don't have galactic communications. So that's fine. Its shields are relatively low. Uh, we should be able to, yeah. Shields are already down. Blah, blah, motherfucker. Blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. And uh, our shields are low too. I'm gonna need to boost those. Woo, my goodness. I think basically one good shot with my shields down uh, would fuck me completely. There, fix that thing. Where are you going? Fix the thing. Uh, there's a lot to be uh, a lot of work to be done. It's still in a very early phase, but I'm still really excited for what could come out of this game. It's kind of like build your own boat if uh, build your own boat was what I wanted it to be. <laughs> And also faster than light, which is fucking fantastic. This game does need to have some difficulty options. Uh, the AI needs to be tweaked just a little bit. Uh-oh. Small ship seems to be in distress. Oh, God. Can we just, like, avoid the conflict? Yeah. And we move on. Hooray! We might just explore the sector after all. <laughs> One more destination. Oh, God. I'm so scared. I don't want to. Um, I really do like the aesthetic. It's kind of like a pixel art style. It could be uh, better done as far as the animations and things like that, but there's still time. You know, it's not a full release of a game. Um, the, def the difficulty definitely is what needs to be tweaked the most, I think, especially if you have any hope of uh, getting enough research points. God damn it. All right. Here, come and get some, fucker! Ah, uh, and our shields are kind of halfway down. Well, let's, uh, let's do this thing. 
Somebody needs to fix the shield generator. Hello! Oh, we're so fucked, man. I boost their shields up. It it gave me like half of what I need. Oh god. It's so bad. It's so bad! I need way more fucking shield tanks. I don't even have the weapon power to chew through them either. Oh my god, this is it, friends. So this has been the Sentient. <laughs> I hope you'll check it out. Ten minutes of setup for like ten minutes of gameplay. Way too much setup. Need to be able to save some templates. Fuck, I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Until the next time, friends. Bye bye! One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.